All right, moving on, Matthew. Let's play a little news or noise with some running back headlines coming out of the long weekend. Starting out in Philly, where the season is kicking off on Thursday, ESPN Eagles reporter Tim McManus says he, the team is preparing J.H.I. Jay as if he'll quote-unquote be the guy in their offense, even though they are still expected to go with a committee approach. Is this report news or noise? Uh, well, good question, and honestly, to me, this is news. Look, with no Carson Wentz in week one, no Alshon Jeffrey, no Mac Collins, this is a team that is going to rely heavily on the running game early. Ajay averaged 5.8 yards per carry last season with the Eagles, so he showed how effective he could be in that offense. The biggest thing holding him back last year was his workload. He never had more than 15 carries in a game with the Eagles in the regular season with a full offseason in the system. No Garrett Blunt there to steal some goal line touches. Yeah, you'll see some Corey Clement, but absolutely, I believe Jay Ajayi could be the focal point of that offense, especially while Carson Wentz is out. So I think this is news. What's next? All right, more in info coming from ESPN beat writer Mike Wells. Fifth-round pick Jordan Wilkins is likely starting at running back if Marlon Mack's injured hamstring keeps him sidelined. Is this news? Or is this noise? Yeah, I think this is noise. Look, until we see some clarity from the Colts situation, it's hard to know who's going to get the most carries. Kind of hard to know if they're even going to be effective. That offensive line did not look good in the preseason. I'm steering clear of this situation. Naheem Hines, Kristen Michael, they're both around. They could steal some touches. Marlon Mack still hasn't been ruled out yet. And it's a tough matchup against the Bengals. Colts running backs have ranked in the bottom half of the NFL in fantasy points each of the last four years. And with an unclear depth chart, I just don't know how you can start any of them in fantasy. Look, Wilkins is a worthy bench stash, of course, as I mentioned earlier in the show, because he's potentially a starting running back, and he's out there in a lot of leagues. So he certainly should be rostered, but I'm not starting him until I see the Colts starting him and him having success. All right, what's next? All right, let's go from Indy to Denver, just like Peyton Manning. Huh, I see what you did there. On Monday, Vance Joseph named Royce Freeman as the starting running back after he spent most of the preseason splitting time with Devontae Booker. Is this perhaps less of a timeshare than we had assumed? Is that news? Or is that noise? All right, well, so this is news for people that weren't listening to the show because we've been saying all year long that we think Royce Freeman would be the guy. We thought he would end up taking this job for a while, to be honest. However, this does make me a little bit more comfortable starting him in week one. Remember, Devontae Booker averages his 3.6 yards per carry in his career. He's only had one career carry of over 20 yards. He's just a guy to me. Royce Freeman is simply the more talented running back. I believe he's going to be a top 15 running back this season when all is said and done. That's where I'm drafting him. Remember the Broncos last year ranked eighth in the NFL in rushing attempts. They improved their offensive line in the offseason, and obviously the quarterback play should be improved as well. Freeman has a chance to, wait for it, run away with this backfield. And this news helps confirm that. What's next, Secret Squirrel? All right, no one's questioned LaShawn McCoy's workload, but his availability, however, is another matter. However, a league spokesman confirmed to the Washington Post that McCoy has not been placed on the commissioner's exempt list and is eligible in week one. McCoy's status will be vi likely be reevaluated later in the season. Is all of this news or is this noise? I mean, honestly, like, I think it's noise. This is exactly what we expected. As long as LaShawn McCoy is on the field, he's going to get a ton of touches for a Bills offense that doesn't have a lot. Remember, look, McCoy last year, responsible for nearly one-third of the Bills' yards, the second-highest percentage in the NFL. The two issues with McCoy have not changed this entire offseason. The Bills' offense looks to be one of the worst in the NFL, and you never know when things could change with McCoy's case, prompting, prompting a mid-season suspension. McCoy should be a high-floor player as long as he's on the field due to his workload and his volume, but, you know, there's obviously risks involved. So how lucky do you feel? I don't think this is news, however. What's next? All right, obviously saving the best one for last. Jim Bob Cooter said that Kerryon Johnson's role will develop based on his midseason performance. Is this news or is this noise? Honestly, I think this is news. The Lions running game is a situation, honestly, I'm largely avoiding. I know a lot of people love Kerryon Johnson off of his college tape, and I get it, but this is a team that just doesn't really run the ball this well. Last year, they averaged the fewest yards per carry in the NFL. They still haven't had a 100-yard rusher since Thanksgiving of 2013, Secret Squirrel. Remember, even though Matt Patricia is the new head coach, this offense is still being run by Jim Bob Cooter, and they haven't run effectively or consistently under Jim Bob Cooter. One of the things Jim Bob Cooter is looking at is all the running backs the Lions have. Carryon Johnson is talented, but he now has to compete with LeGarrette Blunt near the goal line, Theo Riddick in the passing game, and by the way, Amir Abdullah is still around. It's going to be a while before you would actually feel comfortable starting carry on Johnson this season. And as a result, I want no part of him at his ADP of running back 36. For more, sign up now.
for ESPN+.